We must forever conduct our struggle on the high plane of dignity and discipline. We must not allow our creative protests to degenerate into physical violence. Again and again, we must rise to the majestic heights of meeting physical force with soul force. The echo of Martin Luther King's words have traveled across oceans, through the walls and metal bars of a Bahraini prison, and into the overcrowded and filthy cell I sit in. Sometimes through his words, Martin Luther King has become a companion, a cellmate more than a teacher. In a letter, I told the prison administration that I will not be wearing the convict's clothes. That became my small act of civil disobedience, and that is why I am on hunger strike. We shall A doctor came to see me and said, you might go into a coma, your vital organs might stop working, and all this for what, a uniform? I replied, I'm glad you weren't with Rosa Parks on that bus, to tell the woman who sparked the civil rights movement that it was all for nothing but a chair. This letter was written by my sister Zainab al-Khawaja, who's currently in prison. 